Up in the air, Junior Birdman. Up in the air, upside down. Up in the air, Junior Birdman. Keep your noses off the ground. Here's a P-36 in my hangar. This is actually after the battle. On the right hand side you can see it's 55% pilot. This was actually a 50% pilot. The video is the first match I had in this game. Well, in this airplane as it is. And on the left hand side you can see my loadout. The only upgrade I have is tier 3 guns, which are the four 7.62 machine guns. As far as equipment, I just have control surfaces and equipment is like a, um, a gun rammer and uh, that type of thing on uh, on uh, World of Tanks. As you can see, I don't have only have one of those. So this is basically a stock aircraft, and you're going to see the results of what a stock aircraft can do in World of Warplanes. Here's a shot of the teams. I did this in the battle, as you can see. Uh, there's aircraft flying about on the map and some of us we both have two uh, areas captured right now you can see that the p-36 that's a fighter that's a diamond heavy fighters are diamonds with a uh, slash thrown the upside down triangle those are attack aircraft then the aircraft like the f-2a and the p-43 with it looks like a cone top of a rocket maybe those are multi-rolled aircraft, which means they carry bombs, rockets, and they can fly as a fighter. And you'll see here, uh, it's hard to tell sometimes, just people with like straight names like Lars, that might be a, uh, a bot. But Lieutenant Curry, uh, Chubbs, Poldy, Wil Wilbur, Rubab, of course me, and uh, like Van Richthofen der Rolf is, uh, is, is certainly a player. Uh, out of the game. Here I am in the P-36 Hawk. I was going to go towards the airfield, but no one else was going that way, so I decided to go get the command center. If you notice, the thicker band around the objective will give you more points. Did you, the one with the star knows how thin it is? It won't give you as many points. So we're going to the command center. Or I am, the other team. I felt my chances were better here. As I said earlier, this is basically a stock aircraft other than uh, having uh, the better guns. Now, if I had the best engine, I don't think this would have happened, but he outruns me. There's just no way I can ever even catch him. And so you can see, I've changed my display to the alt display. I prefer this better, so I change the key from just pressing and holding to I ha I press it and then uh, it sticks on that. Now you you notice I kind of dodged that aircraft. I don't go nose to nose when someone's at going at me hit face first or you know nose first I should say with guns a blazing. I won't stay in that. I, I just don't. I'll take too much damage. It, it just doesn't pay. So I do, generally, I do an Immelman, and uh, I dive below him. I just do not want to mess around with that. Now, this guy's going awful slow, and he's trying to do, he's trying to get me to overshoot. See now that, that right there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip my nose up, and I'm going to bleed speed off. I don't want to get in front of him. So I bleed the speed off and I come over and I kill him. Now I'm on the tail of this guy and he's not going to get away from me. My, uh, If you can see my ammunition is starting to heat up, it will tell you that. It'll, it'll turn red. So there it goes. You can see the heat that goes up from white and then to red. It will slow down the uh, uh, the firing. I should have shot that bow, bow, bow fighter. Sorry, guy. I don't know who that was or if it was a bot that was on our team. No, I got barely missed by a Blenheim. No, I'm a grade 5 fighter right now. Big difference between machine guns, which this is armed with. Most Americans have uh, uh, 
machine guns, especially in lower tiers. And Germans and the British, they have 20 millimeter guns, and the some of them have uh, some of the Soviets have 37 millimeter guns in the hubs. Americans have a couple too. Uh, is the range and the amount of fire? So no, no, watch this. I am not going to go against this guy. I don't want to get rammed by him. I don't want to take that kind of damage. I do a split S, and I come up behind him. I just do not want to mess with him. It's kind of cool the bomb's coming off, too. And I get a kill without much damage to myself. Did not want... You just take too much damage going nose to nose, firing head on, head on pass. Just doesn't pay to do that. Unless you have cannons and you're higher tier and he's a lower tier and he has machine guns because you, you can out uh, uh, range him. But still, I wouldn't recommend it. Don't like doing it. I'll, I'll avoid it pretty much at all costs. Now, I, I've picked up too much speed. I need to bleed off speed. So I go nose up, over, there we go, I'm behind him. I'm slowing down on my engine too, so he d I don't overshoot him. And I didn't get a kill because he, he crashes himself, but again, no more attack aircraft at our command center. And I've been thinking about going over towards the the uh, airfield. And you can see a lot of information on this. You can see our, our counter. You can see how many points per tick we get, just like in uh, World of Warships on the alternate view. Again, I prefer this all the time. I set it up so I press it, the alt view, and I will not have to worry about it coming back. Now I see some opportunity over here. I am on low health. And uh, just, I probably could go against the air defense fighters. But I was afraid that uh, by the time I got over there, they would have had all the air defense fighters down already. So, I, I waited a little bit till all of their aircraft, I was behind all of them. So I don't have to worry about any of the enemy aircraft. I gotta worry about the defense fighters. But I don't have to def worry about uh, the enemy aircraft. Now, I'm taking, not so much right now, but I will be here in a little bit, taking a crap load of uh, AA fire. They've got to do something about the AA fire for uh, small aircraft. Because these guys are Davy Crockett or whatever you want to call it. William Tell, if you're Swiss, I guess, not German. And uh, you just take too much uh, AA fire as... A fighter. Now, I can understand bombers that are slower, but you know these things are like a, a Juice uh, 23. They've got uh, um, uh, radar. Hang in there. You'll so I'm respawning. I think where I'm going to go. I want to hang on to our command center, so I'm going to deci I decide that I'm going to go in the center and protect our command center. It's under attack, and. Uh, I dive to uh, get some energy. Big thing on this game is is knowing how much energy you have, i.e., speed, and uh, making sure your weapons don't overheat, and making sure that you're in an advantageous position when you engage the enemy. Usually, that means height and speed. Sometimes you can't help it, but Height and speed is really important in this game. Now, I thought I might be able to get a couple of those guys, but can't do it. You, you'll see an attack craft over here on the left. And I'm going after them. Again, going too fast, but bleed off a little speed. Gain altitude, come on back down, and got it. No, I don't think I got him, but... No, I might have got him. So again... Yeah... Again, 
I don't have the upgraded engine. I might have been able to get something down on him. Decide to engage this guy attacking our base. It's the buffalo again. Again, you can see no use firing at him. I don't know why I'm doing that. Now he's coming around. I can engage him right about now. I'm starting to get hits on him the machine guns. Now I wanted to be very, very careful. I didn't want to hit our guy. That, so I was shooting down below him. Don't want the teammate to get shot at. Don't know if there's uh, team damage. It doesn't come up. But it's certainly... I've been hit by our own team. I've been uh, rammed by our, my own team too. Yeah, it's pretty much over. Might be able to get a couple more shots on him. At least that's what I'm thinking. Trying to soak up a little more damage, and that's it. Victory is ours. We're waiting for your return. One's a participation badge there, and I didn't look at that. That, but hat trick, supporting fire. You can read what uh, the advantages are, or what I did to do it. See grade two, rank in combat, and uh, flying shield. I guess it was. Maybe I, I didn't, didn't read that fast enough. Glasses didn't focus quick enough. And I really enjoy this game. Uh, it is a lot of fun. I, I I find it sometimes more satisfying in the world of tanks because you don't have to worry about campers. However, there there is a way to camp in this game. I did that in a previous game. I got a grade 5 fighter, but I never went out of the, one of my our bases. And it ended up being a loss. I protected it, but I should have. I was being defensive and I should have been offensive. So you got to be careful of that. I should have attacked some of the uh, bases that the enemy had captured. Again, I find this game more satisfying because I don't have as many campers, nor do I have near as many uh, uh, campers. How should I say this? Campers, and you don't have to worry about someone parking behind you or pushing on the enemy and taking three or four shots from the enemy. I find it more individualistic, uh, which is good for me. I don't seem to get as frustrated. I just think Warplanes 2.0 is so much better than its predecessor, and it's a lot of fun to play. I uh, should give it a shot. Uh, thanks again for watching. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.